Hello and welcome everyone to my channel Code with Ease by Varsha. So we have recently started with the 2D arrays series in which we are starting off with some basic foundational questions on 2D arrays to set the base right so that once everyone gets familiar with the way to interact with 2D arrays is when we are going to start doing some more complex questions. So the last video that we published was called the richest customer wealth. Today we are going to solve this question which is matrix diagonal sum. So let's take a look at the problem statement. Given a square matrix, return the sum of the matrix diagonals, only include the sum of the elements on the primary diagonal and the elements in the secondary diagonal that are not part of the primary diagonal. So as we can see in this diagram, if this is the primary diagonal 159 and this is the secondary diagonal. So we have to return the sum of the elements on both the diagonals but the catch over here is this element 5 is there on both the diagonals. So we cannot, if we just add the numbers, 5 will get repeated twice. So we have to exclude one occurrence. In the second example, if we see, in this, there is nothing to exclude. 1 plus 1 in the primary diagonal, if we see, all the 1s add up to 4. In the secondary diagonal, if we see, the 1s are adding up to 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8, hence the sum is 8. So it is actually a very simple question. It's just like traversing the array, get a sum of the elements. But, but the catch over here is, when do we exclude? the element that is being repeated on the secondary and the primary diagonal and in which case we don't have to exclude okay so now let's try to understand this question okay so now we'll discuss the approach so here is the array that i have taken this is the secondary diagonal 420 and primary diagonal is 223 so first of all let's discuss on the row and the column numbers so first element it is like 00 so here are the row and the column values for all the elements so we have to add the elements in the primary diagonal if you notice the values of row and column in the primary diagonal is same it's like 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. It's something like if we have i value starts with 0, we can have i and i, like ARR of i and i, we can just add it up to get the sum. So ARR of i and i is going to give us the primary diagonals element. Now the question arises, how do we get the elements of the secondary diagonal? How does it look? So it is row number 0, row number 1, row number 2. Row number 0 is that 0 is the same. Row number 1, again, it is the first element is same and row number Two, hence the first element is same. In the second element, I mean the column value, it is 2, 1, 0. Means it is some sort of decreasing in the order. So to add up the element of the primary diagonal, the respective primary diagonal value and the respective secondary diagonal value, the elements of both, what we can do is we can take ARR of i that can remain as constant because the i th value is still the same. But we have to try to find out a formula to get the value of the column. So how can we get that? What do we have with us? We have the length. What is the length? Length is the total number of rows in the given matrix. So in this case, the length is 3. There are 3 rows. Although it is 0 index, it is 0, 1, 2, but there are 3 rows. So what we will do is we can take something, we can do something like, so initially i is equal to 0, we can take length minus i. So if length is 3, 3 minus 0. So it just gives us 3 only. I have to do another minus 1 to get 2. Okay, let's see if we can uh, do it for the second. When i becomes 2, means in row number, uh, i equal to 1, sorry, then row number 1, length is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, we get 1 over here. So, in this way, by using this ARR of i plus i and ARR of i and length minus i minus 1, we can sum it up all the numbers that we get as part of the primary diagonal and secondary diagonal. But what is, what is the problem? The problem is the repetitive number which is coming as part of the primary and the secondary diagonal which is the element 2 in this case. How do we exclude it? Okay, so the question, uh, so the answer could, to this would be outside of this loop. So this is anyway going to run inside the loop. Outside of this loop, we are just going to do, we are just going to subtract out of it the value whatever is coming in the middle of this. So we can do something like sum minus, how do we get the middle value by the way? ARR of Okay, we, all, we have the length, length is 3, so 3 by 2 we can do, 3 by 2 is giving us 1, so we can do len by 2 and len by 2. But the problem is, if we go back to this question, to the uh, original question, we so in this, we observe that in the second example, there was no repetition of the element. So what is the difference between first and second example? The length of the, the length of the array. So here, the length of the array is 3, here the length of the array is 4, means even and odd. So whenever the length of the array is odd is when we are having an element which is repetitive coming twice. But when the length of the array becomes even in this case, 
there is no repetition of the character it is simply adding of the primary diagonal and secondary diagonal so that is why what we can do is we are not going to subtract this value blindly we are going to put a condition what condition we will say very simple we are just going to check whether length is even or odd we can do that simply if length is equal to even then just return the sum if it is odd then do this sum minus uh, error of length by 2 and length by 2. We can simply write a ternary condition to check that. That's it. So the approach for this is simply adding a for loop, traversing the array, adding up the elements of the primary and secondary diagonal. That is the first thing which we have to do. And then outside of the loop, we have to check whether the length of the array is even or odd and accordingly return the sum. We will return the sum as is if the length of the array is even. But if the length of the array is odd, we are going to subtract the extra middle element from it, from the sum and return that. Okay, so now let's write the code for this. Okay, so we are going to start with the code changes. First of all, let's have this variable sum initialized to 0. Then we'll have the loop int i equal to 0. i less than, so we also need to take a length variable, length of the matrix. So we are going to run this till the length. Like if there are 3 rows, so it will run like 0, 1, 2, i plus plus. And within this, we are going to do sum equal to uh, plus equal to the primary diagonal's value is going to be 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. So we are going to take i and i plus the secondary diagonal we have to take i and then the column we are going to calculate with length minus i minus 1. That's it. Outside of the loop, now we have to do return. So here we are going to check whether the length is even or odd. So we are going to check length. If this is equal, if this is even, then we are going to give out and we are going to return the sum as is. Otherwise, we will subtract it. So we will do like sum minus the middle value. So which is going to be matrix of length by 2 and the length by 2. That's it. So this is going to subtract the middle value, which is in this case 5. So we we'll run this. We we'll submit. So this was all about this question: how to find the matrix diagonal sum. Hope you guys have enjoyed the session today.